in a time when people have got bored of modern and future military shooters, there has been a demand by players for things to go back in time, and in particular into World War II. A lot of people have asked for it, and a lot of indie and AAA companies have delivered it. But after all the money raising and developers hard work, most of these shooters have been left to dust. This pops up a question that is nostalgia for World War II shooters really bigger in our heads than presented in reality, or are there just too many World War II shooters coming out at the same time? In today's video on the topic of World War II shooters, I would like to talk about a game which has poked my interest, called Enlisted. Enlisted was first announced to the public in December of 2016. Developers showed off the first teaser trailer and they also set up fundraiser to start the project. They managed to reach $250,000 mark, which was enough to start developing Normandy, Battle of Moscow and Tunisian campaign. After that they made a poll for players to vote on the features which will be implemented into the game. Post vote they have been keeping us up to date what has been going on in the development of the game and on 31st of March 2018 they let the players themselves test the game out by releasing a launcher which lets them play April Fools and listed Cuisine Royale. I also tried this out and here are my thoughts and suggestions for future development of this game. First of all, this game runs great. For the map size, the amount of things on the map and the attention to detail really prove that they care about the game they are making here. Comparing it to the new Call of Duty set in World War II, which at the start had bad crashes, FPS drops and a shit ton of bugs, this game is a masterpiece. Also this game has its own problems, which every game in Alpha Stage has, but I will get into that in a second. But first I'm going to talk about the things this game does right. For a start, this game sounds fucking beautiful. From far away to close up, all the guns sound so immersive and realistic. Just listen to the machine gun fire in the distance. Also the ambient noises are one of the best I have ever heard in any game I have ever played. Just take a listen. Next up are the graphics, which I have set up to the max to get the most immersive atmospheric experience possible. All the details, starting from just the houses to forests and bug characters, just look so amazing, and I would hope that more games would put such effort into graphics as this game has managed to do. I must say, this game must have the best detailed forest I've ever experienced in a video game. Just look at the variation of vegetation here. Though some places could have less roots on the ground. Alright, now let's talk about weapons and vehicles. Weapons in this game sound amazing, as I said before, and they all seem to have their unique recoil patterns. But some rifles have missing ammo in a reload animation, which I hope will be fixed for next test session. There were also enough guns to keep me entertained for the whole two days of playing time. In this game there are also fixed MG positions in bunkers to rain down hell on your enemies. But the only downside which comes down to shooting and hitting enemies with guns is that the hit markers, which definitely in my opinion need to be smaller and less all over the place, and also the same goes for the hip fire radical. For example, look at Battlefield 4 and CSGO. In this game you can change their size and the color. That kind of variation could be used also in graphics, sound and key binding settings. Coming down to vehicles, which there are some, they are found throughout the map and it looks like they really nailed the driving mechanics for World War II game because those vehicles do not seem too fast or too slow for this type of setting. Now let's talk about what are the issues with the game. The biggest issue for me is net code. Sometimes when you shoot at enemies you see your bullets hit but there are no hit markers or your bullets just keep disappearing even when you're ADSing and enemy is like 5 meters away and is standing still. That happened to me way too many times and I hope this problem will be taken care of by the next game this session. Also there are some animation and map glitches but mostly in that sense the game was fine. 
I hope you guys enjoyed my first thoughts and ideas video. I left some ideas also down in the description for people who are interested and who wants to know more about the game than they can visit Enlisted Toughnet. Well, that is basically all I wanted to say about this game. If you have any ideas then leave them down below in comments, like or dislike and thanks for watching.